Right now, going on today, there is an event called the Elemental Crucible. For my Destiny players, think Gambit. It's essentially what it is. Picking up moats, that kind of thing. On top of that, it's actually a co-op event, which was the first one I've ever done. I have not done co-op until this event, which was pretty fun. So first up, to even get in on this, you have to be at least Adventure Rank 20 or above. I believe that's the only prerequisite. There might be one more. Feel free to comment below if you know the other prerequisite, but I did see that 20 Adventure Rank or above is required to even get in on this event. But to actually get started, you want to be a Mondstadt and talk to Timaeus here. He'll tell you that he has some alchemical problems and he'll want you to meet him at the Thousand Wind Temple there in the Northeast. Head to the temple. And again, make sure you're playing as a solo player throughout all this because of course you can't talk to the NPCs when you're in co-op mode. But head to the temple. You'll talk to Timaeus again. He'll tell you to fire up the Elemental Crucible by defeating this enemy here, the Ruined Guard. Upon defeating the Ruined Guard though, you'll get a chest and now the ability to actually fire up the Elemental Crucible. Now, at this moment, if you already have a preset team, go ahead and invite them, get them in on your co-op modes. If not, it'll put you in matchmaking. Now, this is again, my first time doing co-op. So have your right champs out, go to your party setup, choose the champ you wanna bring in. I'm sure there's probably better team synergy and it's probably gonna be required in the higher levels of this event. For me though, I'm only at world two. So we pretty much can rock whatever we wanna rock. Now let's talk about the actual event itself. There will be waves of enemies and it's very much straightforward. I mean, you just have to kill the waves of enemies and kill them as fast as you can. Very simple. But as you kill enemies, you'll notice cubes of different elements are dropping everywhere. Now, not only are cubes dropping, but the more and more enemies you kill, you may see benefits like increased hydro efficiency, increased cryo efficiency. Essentially, what that efficiency means is for every cube of that associated element, you will gain increased efficiency at completing that elemental crucible. Now, remember, when you pick up cubes, it's got to be the same element or it's going to drop whatever cubes you have on you. So if I have two cryo cubes on me and I see a hydro cube and I go to pick it up, it will drop the two cryo cubes and pick up the new cube. So make sure you bank. Again, this is why I say it's like Gambit. Bank your moats first of a similar kind before you go pick up different types of elemental moats. Now, the way we did things is we had like two, maybe even three teammates that were focused on just killing everything. And one of us would just run around collecting these moats or these clots or whatever, whatever you want to call it. These cubes. That was kind of my job. I just ran around collecting these cubes. Now, you do run out of stamina pretty fast if you're sprinting or even if you're just dodging everywhere. If you've got any type of food that can boost stamina, you might want to consume that for this event, whoever the runner is. Anyways, banking these cubes as quickly as you possibly can in combination with your teammates destroying ads as fast as they can is essentially the goal. I mean, that's the goal. There's no major boss. I think the final wave of it all spawns some meteor targets, but no like major, major boss or anything. Now, upon actually completing this event, reward wise, you have something called an alchemy handbook. This is directly tied to the event where you can get primo gems, a bunch of other stuff, but essentially completing events here, things like 10 transmutations at the Elemental Crucible, 20 transmutations, just doing the event over and over again, reaching alchemical efficiency of 40,000, 80,000. There's a lot of things in this alchemy chemical book for you to go after in this event. One of the more difficult ones is completing the elemental energy overflow within three minutes of starting the elemental crucible. Note, your role level must be the same as your host. The rest of these just require you to complete the event over and over again. And actually, one of the biggest benefits of this event is for battle pass experience. A lot of battle pass experience you can get here by just completing these transmutations at the elemental crucible. So essentially just doing the event and even though getting rewards from the event directly, requires 40 raisins or risens or whatever. You don't even have to collect the reward to actually count towards those battle pass challenges. Now, as far as the rewards themselves from the event, I've only seen experience no items. I didn't know if there was supposed to be like some artifacts or high level artifacts you can get from this. Lesson Light and Dimitri did complete it at roll level four and that's all they got as well. So maybe there is a specific item that you can get from this event, but it has not popped up for us. Last suggestion on all of this guys, you may want to consider a pre-made team. Like really, really. I know it's got matchmaking, but matchmaking doesn't really give you a lot of options, right? Your entire squad could be all electro. If you got a pre-made team, some folks and friends you can actively communicate with, y'all can essentially 
eventually rock the rainbow, which is what I recommend. Bring Cryo, Pyro, Electro. Something I could say about the event, it has a variety of ads and enemies you go up against, all with different elemental shields and such. The waves of enemies don't seem identical every time too, but they seem different. So representing all elements, in my opinion, will make this event a lot easier on you, especially for my two or three fire team members that are purely focusing on taking down enemies. And if you got a specific champ that can conserve stamina a little better, for my runners, you may want to utilize that. Again though, I had Kaching here and I just consumed a stamina boosting food and I was just fine running around grabbing cubes. So guys, good luck with the event. Seems to be pretty decent for experience. Great for upgrading your battle pass. He's got some other rewards tied to that alchemical book and maybe a rare item. I don't know. Again, let me know if any type of rare item, like I'm thinking like four star or five star item has dropped from this event. It would be nice. I'm new to gacha games, man. I don't really know how it works. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.